Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Relify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So it seems like it is a bit of uh, a day for updates. All the stories today have been updates on previous stories. This one, um, I didn't think there was going to be an update about it. But the story is a of a Russian tourist who was gored while trying to rape a cow. <laughs> Uh, it's funny when you say it. Say it out loud. Just do it. Do it. It's funny. Next, next time, there's a person in your life and they're sad and, and, they, and they can't turn that frown upside down, just tell them to say, was gored while trying to rape a cow. <laughs> and they'll smile. Anyway, so this Russian tourist, he was gored. He was trying to, he was trying to rape a, a mama cow. She, she, wasn't having any of it, so she gored him. The police had to get involved. They got to the scene. It was still happening. The goring was still happening. And they were like, what in the fuck are we looking at? Is, is he naked? Is that a cow? Where? Where is your penis? Anyways, so this Russian tourist, he now faces being conscripted to fight for Putin against Ukraine which sounds crazy, but I think it's bullshit. But we'll get into that in a minute. So do like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel. All, you know, all the bog standard stuff. But a little more exciting would be to join my locals, thirdrailify.locals.com. It's, it's, a, it's a members-only community, private live streams, private uh, chats, private... It's... It's the bee's knees. We're going to make it great. I've just started this up, and um, it's, it's, it's going to be absolutely awesome. I hope. It might be an unmitigated disaster for, for which you should be a part of and watch, watch it go down in flames spectacularly or something. But if you are on Rumble, there's a little, a little button right here, a little join button. That's how you can get there, or you can go to thirdrailfy.locals. Com. A Russian tourist who was gored while allegedly trying to rape a cow after he was dumped by his girlfriend. This this is the update here. Everyone was like, why? Why did he try to rape the cow? Like, what? That's weird. That's like, that's like Democrat level weird. Tried to rape a cow. Well, it turns out he was dumped by his girlfriend. And obviously being dumped by your girlfriend makes you want to go out and Sex a cow, I guess. I don't know. I've, I've, I've never, I've never felt that urge. I mean, what do I know? So he tried to rape a cow after he was dumped by his girlfriend. He now faces being conscripted to fight for Putin against Ukraine. Evgeny Kovshinov, 26 years old, is said to have uh, stripped off, gotten completely naked, and uh, sidled over to make a over to a bull before turning his attention to a female tied to a wooden fence in a field in Thailand last week. He allegedly tried to mount the cow only for her to react violently, pinning him to the ground and goring him. It's, it's not entirely certain which, um, which end he was trying to put his penis into. I mean, in the previous video, we, 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 we kind of... <laughs> We kind of discussed it a little bit. It it almost sounds like for him to be so easily gored, it almost sounds like he was trying to put his dick into the cow's mouth. I'm, I mean, there's kind of a golden rule, right? I mean, you you is it don't you don't put your you don't put your hand anywhere where you wouldn't put your dick, or is it you don't put your dick anywhere you wouldn't put your hand? I. Either way, don't put your dick in things. Sure, the cow can, with his long, sloppy tongue, can give you the old hock to a, but it, it's a cow, for God's sake. It's like, those cows chew cud. You don't want your dick to be cud. Go bite it off, and it will just chew it. And then, God fucking forbid, it goes into one of its seven stomachs. You'll never get it out. It's an awful idea. The whole thing, this whole idea of humping a cow, terrible idea of shin off who was arrested and taken to hospital by police, now faces being returned to Russia in disgrace. 
However, new details have emerged about lovesick Kavshinov, a beauty industry marketing specialist, following the shocking incident last week. So again, here, here's the, the photo of him being absolutely fucked by the cow. I mean, his ex-girlfriend must have been like the best lay ever to, to make him go so crazy. He has reportedly lived outside of Russia for all but a few weeks since Putin launched his war against Ukraine in an apparent attempt to avoid being conscripted into war. It's kind of weird because Russia's not grabbing people off the street. Ukraine is grabbing people off the street. Russia has, what, like 2,000 people signing up a day. They have like almost endless reserves. They don't need to conscript people off the street. Russia's not doing that. Russia's military is pretty much all voluntary. If this guy was a Ukrainian, yeah, I'd, I'd say probably get the fuck out of Dodge, but it's not that. And and the thing about like, oh, he's going back, he's, he's going to go back to Russia and he's probably going to go to jail there or something. Putin's going to conscript him. No, you know, okay. So, I mean, there is a thing. Wagner, when it was still a thing, it's not really a thing anymore. It got absorbed into the Russian military. Um, Wagner went to the jail. And they said, hey, we're looking to, um, we're, we're looking for soldiers. We're looking to bring people in. We're here on an official Russian business. We, we have the okay from Putin. Um, if you want to fight for us, when, when we're done here, when we're done the war, you're free to go. You've done your time. And people were like, I mean, I could fight in a war for a couple more years. Or I could do the 10 more years I have on my sentence. I mean, I guess it makes sense. And so the jails like emptied out and and, and they went to Ukraine. Now, I guess unironically, uh, what then happened was the Battle of Bakhmut and uh, Wagner took massive casualties. Ultimately, they won. But um, what kind of victory is it? If if you take massive casualties, you've, you, you've killed the, uh, the other guys, but you don't have a whole lot of people left. I mean, that, that's basically what happened. So a lot of those prisoners died because they're prisoners. They weren't soldiers. So, I mean, anyways, that's the long and the short of that, I guess. So, apparently, well off from his own business projects, Kavshinov left Russia for Antalya, Turkey in 2022, and then lived and worked in Dubai before rebasing to Thailand in May this year. But he was blocked by his ex-girlfriend on social media earlier this year and tried to enlist the help of Putin and Donald Trump to get her back. Man, this guy's lovesick. Kovshinov had been dating a Casablanca-born flight attendant from a major international airline. Is that supposed to mean something to me? A major, inter- what, like, United? Qantas? Like, what? Who cares? If she- and was distraught over losing her in a message to the Russian dictator. He's not a dictator. He's just president. I'm not a Putin pup. Uh, I'm not a Putin puppet or, or anything. But, like, let's, let's call it what it is. Putin's he's just the president. In a message. To uh, Putin, he appeared to say he was prepared to go into the army if he could be with her again. Tell Putin that I'm ready for any task. I need her, he posted. So basically, like, hey, Putin, if you um, if you force this girl to be with me, I will fight in your war. That's psychotic. He now faces a real prospect of being drafted into Putin's war machine after he is returned to Russia. Kovshinov from the Saratov region, don't know where that is, also posted a bizarre message seeking the help of Donald Trump, saying the flight attendant was now based in the U.S. Mr. Trump, please get me back my girlfriend, he said. So, it, looking at this photo, he, he was a normal guy. He was just a guy, but he got lovesick. Just absolutely lovesick. And as a result, he tried to fuck a cow. I mean, as one does, obviously. Kavshinov uh, appeared in one pose next to a Thai general 
and is often seen in expensive cars and stunning villas. He was also seen with popular Russian blogger and journalist Ilya Varlamov. Concerned locals alerted police when they saw him prowling naked around and apparently up to no good. They also heard his cries for help while being attacked, and they uh, stood next to him as they waited for officers to arrive. So yeah, the cow was fucking him up. Absolutely, just goring the shit out of him. He's holding on with his little naked body, and the, the people are just filming. They're being like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? So shocking footage. I mean, was it shocking? It was surprising, I'd say. Surprising footage shows him lying on the ground without any clothes as, as the brown cow attacks him. Just giving it to him. Police and paramedics arrived at the scene and carried the Russian away on the stretcher. He was taken to hospital and treated for wounds that were on his bottom and abrasions all over his body. So everyone suspects he was trying to, he was trying to bang the cow. Uh, again, look, is this Dubai? Yeah, this is Dubai. Look at him, he's, he's, he's just a dude. Just a dude with his motorcycles. He was just a guy. And so I suspect the rest of the story will go on about how they found cannabis. Maybe he was high, but he was probably trying to pump the cow. Um, but they do say, now we are waiting for the tourist police and the immigration police to work on it. Then we can conduct the investigation. But yeah, he's going to be sent back to Russia, and uh, who knows what Russia's going to do. Maybe Russia lets him go. Maybe Russia throws him in jail. And then when he's in jail, he will have the option of serving out whatever sentence or, or going to, to war. I don't know. But yeah, he was lovesick. That, that's the ultimate point of this. He was so lovesick that his girlfriend left him that, you know, he decided he was going to come inside of a cow. I don't know. Make it make sense. I have no idea. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace. Peace.